Hey guys, it's Kahi here. Happy New Year! Uh, welcome to 2015! I'm doing another solo video again, because, you know, holidays are out and everybody's doing all this great stuff with their family. Uh, my family just left to go back home. I'm currently here, home alone, on New Year's Day. Kind of woke up a little late at around noon, as most of you who went out to a New Year's party would probably identify with. But, I had to wake up because breaking news just hit for Bionicle 2015. Uh, turns out that, of course, it's January 1st. The app has been released nationwide, you can download it from the App Store, and also Bionicle sets are now available to be sold from online retailers. If you go to Amazon or Lego Shop at Home or like any of the other retail stores that can deliver to you know, wherever you live, you can get these sets now. Well, kind of. In fact, if you're looking to get certain sets, you might actually be out of luck. Lego Shop at Home has actually listed several sets as out of stock. I'm looking at it right now. As of this recording, several of the protectors are out of stock. You can still get Lord of Skull Spiders and most of the Toa, but it is honestly kind of exciting to see that Bionicle has sold out on certain sets on the first day of its release. That's really good. With luck, this will carry over and, you know, have Bionicle have a huge return, hopefully extending its revival past the three years they've already confirmed. Now, our new favorite site, BrickSeek, has actually added a new widget called the Walmart Inventory Checker. It functions basically the same as the Target Inventory Checker that we made a video about a couple weeks back, or a couple days back, I guess. The real difference is that instead of using DCPI codes, it uses the end of the, it uses like ID code located at the end of a URL at the end of a Walmart item page. So what that means is if you went on walmart.com and you searched up, you know, Onua or Pohatu or Tahu, when you brought up the ID page at the very end, there is a eight digit number. You copy and paste that number into the Walmart inventory scanner and you also put in your zip codes. So you can see if any of the Walmarts around you have it. None of the Walmarts around me have a Bionicle set inbound, so for like a hundred mile radius. I don't know what that says about Walmarts all across the globe. Maybe they're a bit behind. I did just go there on New Year's Eve and I couldn't find anything, but I was able to find all the sets I wanted to at both the, my local Target and my local Toys R Us. And right now, I mean, there's just no Toys R Us inventory checker. So if you check anywhere near you for Target and Walmart and they're showing no results, you might want to go and check Toys R Us just to see if they have it. They have been taking some of their inventory out. If you've been following my Twitter, I did go to my local Target and get some sets ahead of time. There was a very nice lady who was unboxing all, a huge stack of boxes for the Lego store, and she let me uh, take a look at some boxes that weren't supposed to be open until she said the 4th. So it might be the 4th that you can go up to Target and see all of the sets listed out. I don't know if the 4th is the universal date or just the date for the Marion, Illinois Target. But, you know, maybe we'll find something there. Right now, DCPI codes for Golly and Onua also came out. Ven was able to find them, and I should have, you check the description, I'm trying to compile a list of all the DCPI codes so you can look there. And I'll also try and get the Walmart codes so that you can easily just look in the description and copy and paste with your zip code and, you know, see if anything can be found. If you use BrickSeek at this point in time and it gives you an error, Try doing it again. I come across an error certain times. It'll say like cannot connect to database or there's a database error or something of that nature. Just wait a bit and refresh the page. Try again. Should come up with a result. And uh, looking at a list online, Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, and a lot of other retail stores are in fact open. And I guess I'll link that in the description too, in case you're wanting to see what's open today. Going forward, hopefully this wave of Bionicle 2015 uh, set nostalgia and everything carries well into 2016 and 2017. Honestly, these next three years are going to be the most important when it comes to seeing a Bionicle will continue beyond a three-year wave. Right now, there's a huge surge in nostalgia, and that's fantastic. But if it doesn't continue throughout year two or year three, and there's a significant decline in sales, we might see Bionicle coming to an end at that period as well. So for that reason, that reason alone, I would encourage you, if you are thinking about getting some sets, just try to contribute to the first initial wave. If you're a corporation, nothing speaks louder than money. If you put your money where your mouth is, LEGO will make sure that you have Bionicle going forward. And this is much, much more effective than signing a petition or trying to do a revival project. And we've seen so many Bionicle fans try that amongst their, all you need to do now is just buy the sets and LEGO will listen. So go ahead and do that. I'd also try to suggest getting the mobile game to the top charts simply because that will reach more kids that way. It'll be more awareness. Now it is admittedly very repetitive, but just by, you know, by at least giving it a download and a play, writing a review, 
you're still doing your part as a fan to let LEGO know what you're interested in, uh, to help them raise awareness for the line, and to just have Bionicle continue forward. These are all the things that, if you were a part of a revival project, if you really wanted Bionicle to come back, this is when it's come back. This is when you should be taking this initiative and taking that drive that you wanted to do with, you know, petitions and signatures and all that stuff in the past to now really be able to prove that Bionicle has a place in 2015's market. So, go ahead, have fun, have a great new year, and get some more Bionicle sets. This has been Kahi. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to us. Again, we'll be keeping you as informed as humanly possible. Hopefully, you guys had a great holiday, and we look forward to what's coming for Bionicle this next year. Hope you do too. See ya.